Hey guys, this is Julian of Julian Gray Media, and as you can see, we are in Ableton today for another Ableton Live tutorial. Um, today we're going to be going over the send and return. Uh, this applies to all DAWs, not just Ableton, but I'm just going to use Ableton as an example here. Um, we are going to be uh, just diving into what sends and returns are, or aux, buses, as you will. Um, and we are going to be um, messing around with them and uh, showing you how they work. So just to dive right in um, if you've ever been writing a track and you've seen these right here and you're wondering what in the world are send and returns and what would be the point in doing them if I can do everything in the channel um, let me just give you a basic rundown of what a send and return is now if you don't see this on your Ableton sends and returns here you can enable them here or disable them here if you don't use them or don't want to use them or want to use them here um, so the, the concept of a send and return is to make a clone of the track you have according to the amount you send to it and send that through an effect and then to the, the master bus. So let's just give you an example here. Let's say we have this audio channel here. Let's pretend these are um, a synth lead, like a, like a lead. And we have a a dry channel per se and you want to add some reverb to it now there's two ways of going about doing this you can do um, a reverb on the channel itself that's what you call a channel insert um, and then you have the reverb channel and it's directly affected by the amount of dry and wet you apply to it the more uh, wet you have the more reverb is applied to the original sound the less uh, wet you have or the more dry you have the less uh, reverb is applied to that sound. Simple, right? So essentially when you're in using insert channels you are affecting the original sound. Um, the sound is playing from here it is going through this chain of effects and then right into the master channel. You can see that here. We go from um, external in is in, in, in well irrelevant here. That's the word. Um, we're going from this channel here we're going through this send and return, or I'm sorry, through this uh, insert channel or chain or effects chain, if you will. So if I had a compressor here, it would be going through both of these. And then it goes to the master bus, which is right here. Now, the problem with this is that every time you do something like in this configuration, everything in this channel is going to be um, affected by the previous effect. And every time you apply dry and wet, you're going to be increasing the amount of effect on that um, sound. So let's just say that you want to have a clear sound with compression, but you don't want to have reverb on it. But you still want to have a little bit of reverb to add a little bit of touch to the, the channel. Like maybe a, a little bit of width or depth. I did a whole video on uh, depth with reverb above I'll uh, put the link above me now so you can check that out but let's say you put the reverb after this um, and you turn the dry wet all the way down now you're, you're doing essentially uh, a very small amount of reverb on that compressor but you're still affecting the compressor channel you aren't affecting its own channel the magic of ascend and return is that when you when you apply ascend like this and you turn it up all the way you're going to be sending a copy of this channel's audio to here. So instead of going from this channel to the effects chain to the master, you are then going from this channel to the send to the master, if that makes any sense. So you're going to completely bypass the effects chain when you use a send or return. The advantages of this is that you can apply a, a copious amount of reverb and um, it won't affect the original sound at all. So you can have um, the original sound playing in its fullest with whatever inserts you have on it right here. And you can have the reverb version playing as well at full volume or whatever volume you set as a send. Another uh, useful tool for this uh, and common use is delay. Um, if you want to have the original sound untouched but you want to add a touch of delay without affecting the original uh, insert uh, affected sound, you can apply a, um, a send to that and it will affect the dry sound as a copy of the original and not as a, an insert. That way you can get, instead of getting 
100% um, or I'm sorry, 50% dry and then 25% or whatever percent delay and reverb, you can then do a 50-50 on the compression and main sound and then you can do a 100% reverb and 100% delay that you can affect independently with volume control. It just offers a lot more control. Not that you can't get away with doing the same thing with an insert channel and very dry wet settings, but it just offers more control for you in the long run. Um, another common use for a return channel is um, panning. Let's just say that we wanted to um, pan the return channel. Let's just use the uh, traditional pan on Ableton here. Let's say we wanted to um, have the sound playing right down the middle in a full stereo effect, but we also want it to be um, playing on the left or the right at some points of the song. Instead of um, my automating the pan arm on the, the synth lead, like here, like by manually doing this, we can send, let's say, 50% um, of that signal to the left or 50% signal to the right according to what send and return you have configured with those settings. So that's essentially the magic of sends and returns. You can do other things like routing those sends and returns back into another bus or something like that by going audio to and then configuring like a, a separate audio channel as a bus to uh, collect all those sends and ret or return channels. But that's, thing, that's something for another video and it's something more complicated. Um, that's more advanced audio routing. Um, but I hope this video kind of illustrates what sends and returns are and the difference between a send and an insert um, effect. I'm sorry. And um, if this video did help you, give it a like. If it didn't, give it a dislike and let me know why in the comments below. If you have any questions on the subject of sends, returns, aux channels, or um, insert channels, let me know in the comments below as well. And I will try to... Uh, elaborate on this topic in the comments below. It's sometimes it's easier to write out things than it is to say them. So um, I will talk to you guys next time. I am Julian of Julian Gray Media. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. It, I make a video every Wednesday and Friday and um, they can be vlogs, tutorials, and all this kind of media art stuff. So again, I will talk to you guys next time and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.